hi guys welcome back to my channel um so this is not gonna be a first impressions i'm just gonna start doing my makeup now while i talk my phone is being so messed up and it's pissing me off um real quick before i get started please like and subscribe um so yeah i am starting off with the brow bar um that i got in my boxy charm using a little brush start into the deepest shade so I am so sorry this is no longer a first impressions because I recorded this video already yesterday and ooh, everything that could go wrong did go wrong between my phone this new lighting that I got everything just kept messing up now I'm gonna go into the light brown right there everything was messing up and I'm really hoping this phone don't cut off again because that really upset me yesterday I'm not sure if I can handle it again and um so as you notice that brush only had like the two brush sides so I'm just gonna grab a spare one of these things a little spoolie and run it through my brows so I think I said this was concealer the other day I got some brow stuff it's um like the wax to help set your eyebrows before you put the other stuff on but I just use brow gel so I don't really care to use that I actually used it as a concealer to clean up my eyebrows yesterday and I'll probably just follow the same thing today so yeah in this video I was just doing what the other video was supposed to be which is <clears throat> excuse me just a review on my boxycharm items um, and then I also picked up some stuff from the Ulta store because they had a big sale on Morphe stuff and I also had a coupon that was going to expire at the end of this month. So I really wanted to use that before that happened. I'm doing the exact same thing on the other brow, by the way. So I picked up the uh, Morphe Jeffree Star Trio Blender Collection. The little trio ones that, they, that he has with his brush set. I have the eye brush set, so I just wanted the little blenders the beauty sponges this is the one of them wet wow they actually came out much better today wow now dipping into that wax i personally am going to use it just to clean up the eyebrow a bit um, so today I'm using the, oh yeah, I didn't, so anyways, sorry, sorry, I'm all over the place right now. The other thing I picked up was magnetic lashes. And there, you know, there's three steps that you got to take, or three times you apply the liner and then you apply the lashes. So it, it says it takes about five minutes to apply them so today we're doing the eyes first before any of the base because of that dry time that I gotta wait so I just figured that made the most sense Ooh, why get out of there all right so that's that and then now I do really like that though it is super nice and then just taking the brow gel oh. or mascara running that through I like everything about this little collection there this little eyebrow kit all right so I already um, put Prime my eyes with concealer though, the um, Koki Professionals Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in shade medium beige. So let's go in. So this palette, 
was very nice. I liked it a lot. Going in with basket, the darkest brown. Oh wait, no, woods. Going in with woods, the uh, lighter brown. Uh, kind of off brown. Um, it's really nice. Everything blended so nicely, as you guys are about to see. And the color payoff is great. So I really like this palette. I like that it's a little more palette, but obviously the thickness of it though is kind of hard for like um, taking it on the go with me. That's kind of only the sucky part, but you know, the fact that it's smaller is nice. Oh, <clears throat> one of my technical difficulties yesterday. I have a new, um, lighting mirror so i'm hoping you guys can see me a little bit better hey not buddy oh god you scared the fuck out of me being so short you can come in yeah don't crawl again you scared me are you coming in or not jerome was just on the floor i thought it was shaw man that's so scary <laughs> Oh god, it's so hot under this light though, good lord. So, do you see how nice that, I know it kind of blends in with my skin tone, but it's very nice, just take my word on it. If you guys have this palette, you know what I'm talking about. So now I'm going in with Basket, the darker shade. Oh, so yeah, um, this mirror, really nice now that I know probably what was wrong that I didn't like that I did I didn't like that oh god that felt so good <gasps> babe oh my god <laughs> in case you don't know that's the Bray Wyatt mask oh that just scared the shit out of me I thought you scared me the first time that really wasn't cool <laughs> I'm gonna try and paint your face like that one day. One Halloween. It'll be a real mask. <laughs> you play too much. Oh my god. And he knows I'm afraid of Pennywise right now for some reason. I don't know why. The first movie, nothing. Second movie, for some reason, I'm so scared of Pennywise. And yet here he goes, playing with masks, scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> so with that darker shade, I'm just kind of keeping it on the end there, making a little V shape, taking it a little bit up. And I'm just blending those in together, but kind of keeping it on the outer edge. So now I'm going to take Bad Wolf pop that on my um, eyelid oh so yeah this lighting see he done distracted me and scared me and everything else oh the first one I'm not sure what this brush is this is just this one the second shade I use JH 32 the Jaclyn Hill brush this one is just JS 10 the Jeffree Star brush and I'm gonna grab some fix plus this one's um, pink light is what kind, and I don't know if you can see. You see the like reflectives in it? Yeah, gorge. And I'm just gonna spray that brush there just to help pick it up. Um, this lighting that I got yesterday when I was trying to film, oh, see? I'm telling you, this whole palette is so good. Um, it kept shutting off, and like sometimes it stay on for like five minutes sometimes it stay on for like literally a minute or you know a couple minutes you know what I mean and oh my god it was upsetting me so I think why it was doing that I don't know why I'm trying to use my phone as a mirror I think while it was why it was doing that because I've been testing it all day today because I'm like what's going on I don't want to have to refund it um I mean return it is uh 
I had it plugged into my other mirror on my my mirror on my desk and this mirror is like it has like a little port where you can charge your phone and everything on it so I'm guessing it gave it enough I guess power juice to play or to turn on but not like be on for long periods of time so today I plugged it into the actual like outlet um because it just has like a look at how cute that is um I'm going back into basket the darker brown to do the blend it a little bit here uh what was I saying Oh yeah, the end of this cord is like a, like the keyboard cord or something like, oh, I, I know what I could show you. It looks like, it looks like this to be plugged into something else. So I just plugged it into the base of one of my chargers and then called it, called it good, plugged it into the actual outlet instead of my makeup mirror. Going back in with woods just to go over everything one last time. And so I've been testing my mirror all day. You know, I just had it on while I was cleaning. I mean, my mirror, my light. I had it on while I was cleaning and, you know, just doing everything to leave it on. And I think I solved the problem because so far so good. It hasn't cut off yet, thank God. So now I'm going to start applying the liner. What else did I pick up from Ulta yesterday? I don't even remember. I just know I was so excited about this stuff and then... When I filmed it and all of it went bad. Oh, it's so irritating. So, I got the Eyelore Pro Magnetic Magnetic Lash Eyeliner and Lash System. This is what I picked up. You can see I took it out because I tried to do it yesterday. But no, nah, stuff when it has to have to have its own plan. So, oh crap, now I can't get it out. Throw that on the floor. I have a ton of people like in my personal life asking me to try freaking magnetic liner. I mean lashes, so here we go. Just doing one coat first. I will say one thing I was impressed with is how easy this glides on. So yesterday I you know opened it, put it on both. But today I'm going to open it like I did, do the one, and then dunk it back in and do the other side. Because I'm really hoping for better results. Spoiler alert, I'm telling you now, it didn't work great yesterday. I did not like it at all. Um, so I'm hoping that with this um, little switch up, it'll come out better because I do really like the liner itself actually it glides on very nice um, and I enjoy that a lot <sighs> oh crap that got down and that kind of hurts oopsie oh Great, now I'm going to have a uh, magnetic, magnetic liner in my eyeball. <sighs> Show must go on. Oh well. So now we're going to start the face while that's drying. And I'm just little by little going to be doing the face. So, oh, the other thing that I picked up yesterday was another one of these. The Makeup Revolution <clears throat> Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. But I picked it up in F8 and a half. I thought the half meant it was going to be um, darker. It was not. Not even a little bit. Oh, it was so light. So that I sadly do got to return. Um, I don't really like returning makeup at all. And then I'm going to mix in just because that's a bit light. The BH Cosmetic 
um, BH Cosmetics Liquid uh, Foundation. And when I said shade too dark last time, it's because it literally has no shade on here. So, I don't know. Just going to take a little bit of that. Oh, in case, I'm sure you guys did notice because there's not a giant ass hoop in my face. I got a stud in. I, oh. I went to a different tattoo shop that a friend of mine recommended. Um, because, you know, I saw over the, the nose stuff, the hoop and the bumps and all that. I'm so over it, but... My friend recommended I, you know, get a second opinion and um, go to this place that she went to. And I am so glad I took her advice. She was 100% correct. So it's going to look odd because I'm not putting no makeup there. Like, I'm not trying to piss it off any more than, you know, what's there. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad he says you know nothing's guaranteed obviously you never know how your body's gonna react and you know at this point he's like your body could just be like you know what I'm done quit putting shit in me um I mean stuff sorry so you know you never know but he's like I really think you know this is gonna work um because I've seen worse and I'm pretty sure it was a pressure thing because it was a hoop you know so I'm super excited he seems so knowledgeable I mean like wow he just talked my ear off with his knowledge and he was like tell me to shut up at any time i'm like no like you're making me feel so secure about everything right now so he was great um i meant to wipe away some of the some of the um eyeshadow that kind of fell down a little bit all right I'm apply this again there's just my cokey concealer if you guys don't know about this concealer I know they got more than just concealer the brand itself but this concealer specifically I love I got three of the same ones because it's just a really good product I like it for obviously what I'm doing now. Oh man, this is the whole reason why I got the little Jeffree Star trio. So that way I can avoid hitting my nosy. Honestly, without that ring, I probably won't hit it as much either. So he just told me in three, in um, three uh two weeks to go back to him and he'll take another look at it and uh you know kind of determine if it's a lost cause for this piercing specifically or if it's going down he's gonna put in a smaller stud um a smaller post in it right now I have a huge poke because he said it was just so big like he's kept he had to extend it three times like what he thought was gonna fit it did not fit because of how you know the bump is just ridiculous this is the other thing I picked up makeup revolution bake and blot it's a deep banana I did not know that when I picked it up I thought it was just banana so because of that all I'm doing is just gonna set my under eyes with it I'm not going to necessarily bake just because it is a tad darker than I anticipated but I don't exactly got anything for blotting so I was like yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get that why not and I do like it I just wish I paid attention to the color that's all all right, so let's check on this eyeliner. I feel like I'm ready for another go. Oh, yeah. All right, so maybe not. Oh, there it is. I don't even know how it rolled all the way back there. So here we go with number two.
Oh, shoot, I forgot I was supposed to dip it. They did have instructions inside the box, obviously. Super easy, pretty much straightforward. You can't really mess it up. So that's nice. All right, there's number two, and it says you can wear them up to 20, 15 wears. So that's cute, that's cool. Who doesn't love that? All right, so I also picked up this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage con and Concealer and Contour in the shade C13.5 or 13.5. Cause I'm gonna use this as contour. And I will not be contouring my nose, um, obviously. Whenever you do contour too, you should always blend it up, like, you know, push it up. And then also up that way as well though, because you don't ever want it to look like a 5 o'clock shadow or something. Ooh. I'm not even sure how that tie got streaky like that. Let's just blend it back into your hairline, you know. Nothing new with that one. I'm trying to hurry up, but I want this phone to cut off on me. I guess saying storage full. I'm like, okay, for one, you know I've been keeping a lot of stuff on you, so don't start that. So fake. And then to kind of set that, because it is a liquid, um contour obviously I'm gonna go in with a bronzer over it I'm just gonna use the physician formula X Casey Holmes palette I'm going in with this one and that one is just in deep bronze I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush for that I'm just gonna go right over it and bronze up Just like any liquid, really, you want to set it, so. And then we are going to bake. Not under my eyelids, though, because, you know, I got that stuff under there. The bait and block one so I'm just gonna bake um to clean up my contour I just had it where'd it go oh well put my makeup wipe over it I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me loose finishing power and powder not power right um and fair light shade 10 I'm gonna pour some that was a lot pour some into the cap like that take my Jeffree Star sponge this is dry. Because I find when I wet them, I can't do this easily. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm not doing something right. So I tend to leave some of my sponges dry for this specific purpose. There. And I'm just gonna let that sit there and do its thing can put those up put that up my eye really hurts from where that went inside oh that came out really easy cool it's like they all got together and was like we don't belong here that was lame um <laughs> eyeliner I'm going to go ahead and do some eyeliner. Oh, first, no. I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend. I'm getting that storybook palette out again. And I'm going to take Bad Wolf, the darkest brown. I'm going to put that close to my lash line. I 
as close as I can get it. This brush is a little too stiff to be doing this. And then I'm going to go in with Woods, which was the first shade, and just blend that out. Smoke it out. So because the, ah, with the magnetic liner, I don't really want to do a full-on wing or nothing. Like, you can. It says you can, but I just, I don't know, you know? All right, let's get up some liner. I don't even know why I got this mirror. I'm not even using it. Eyeliner. This is the Essence Liner. You already knew. In the shade 01 Black Fever. And I'm just going to tight line. Totally optional. I just prefer to do it. And hit my waterline as well. Oh, got my nose. Guess my nose needed it as well. If you don't like tight lining, you know, where you do the whole upper waterline. If you don't choose to do that, one thing I do um, recommend is <coughs> you at least tight line the little area, like the corner of your eye to like about where your eye color starts. Because um, depending on your lashes, there could be a gap there and you can they can really tell like if your lashes don't come, you know, really far into your inner corner, they can kind of see like... It just looks better um totally if you choose to or not you know whatever i do like if i don't tight line my full water line i tight line at least that little part all right let's brush this away and when i brush it away i'm also trying to like blend it out a little bit because i don't want a harsh line i just want it clean Whole nother brush holder. Good lord. Alright, let's check on the liner. Oh yeah, it looks good. And you can tell it's like not oh, I don't even know how to say it without sounding stupid. I guess you can tell that it's like magnetic liner because of the way it dries, it's like not I guess it looks crinkly. I don't I don't know how else to describe it. Baby David is in a mood and I gave him a bottle right before I started. So it's not like he's hungry. All right, that is three. So once that dries, we can apply. So in the meantime, let me do some highlighter. I like to apply highlighter after I do my setting spray to be honest but don't want to do that at the moment so we're just gonna skip that using that same um physician's formula palette going in with just beachy and it's a butter highlighter there was a lady the lady that checked me out at Ulta girl her highlighter I should have asked her what it was because it was from another planet. Let me tell you. It was gorgeous, don't get me wrong. And I mean, I could see her from across the state. Damn. But it was very nice. And her makeup was gorgeous. She was wearing like a. I think she was wearing a pink shirt. Yeah, she was wearing a pink shirt. And then her eye makeup was, you know, pink. And it just gorge it was so pretty i was like go oh, girl but i'm weird about getting comp giving compliments out in public i don't want to creep people out you know so i tend not to but i should i do when i'm at work just because i don't care 
but like out in just the public I prefer not to I don't want to look like that weirdo that's like hey you're so cute and then have them be like um thanks and just like walk away I'm going with the dark lip dark lip dark lip dark lip that's None of these are the color I'm looking for. I need to invest in some more liquid or some lipsticks. This is the Essence or Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil and Upper Brown Side. Let's get my line those bad boys. Just like that. I'm trying to learn my new random. I was just thinking about it today though. I'm trying to learn my new skin type because I'm gonna use the setting spray. This is the other thing I picked up. The, I can't remember what collection that's from, but you know, the little lights around the Morphe. It's the same exact thing as the original, just the different packaging. Um, it goes to a set, I just can't remember what it is. Set the scene. Probably not, but we're just gonna set this into place. Set it really into place. And then we'll check on the eyeliner because I am ready to put them on, baby. I have high hopes today because I did a different. Oh, it looks like it still needs like a second. So we'll. Give it another little, give it another second. My nose is so freaking dry from the different types of treatments I've been trying to do from that nose. And it's like broken out and, oh girl. I hope I wasn't talking about something else because I really don't remember. What do you think, guys think of the eye look though? I'm telling you, that palette is really good. I need to find a way to get another one because I know there's like a blue one. I'm not sure what theme that is. This one's Little Red Riding Hood. I'm not sure what the other one is, but I do really like them. So I gotta see if they're selling on like Boxy Charms website or whatever. <clears throat> Just waiting for it to dry. I know what I was talking about. My skin type. I just be forgetting everything. So, before I had kids, my skin type was like dry. Like, I'd get dry patches in the summer and the winter, just kind of whenever, all the time. But after I had my last one, it went like just a couple of days ago, I really noticed it. Like, my skin type is so different, which is why I don't like the oils. Like, you know, that one oil that I just got in my boxy charm and that pumpkin seed oil that I had talked about in an Ipsy box that I got. My skin is so dry I mean no oily now it was dry now it's oily and I just can't get used to it and especially when you're used to your skin tone skin type being a certain way for so long and all of a sudden now it's just different like it's like what the heck I don't know so, oh, and before I started my makeup, I didn't actually, like, use a primer. All I did was use the e.l.f. Daily Hydrating Moisturizer. I usually always use this before I do my makeup. Um, just a heads up. Alright, so let's go ahead and apply these. So, this is what they look like. Super cute. You can see the little magnets. There's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Fingers crossed. I just. <clears throat> There's that one. I will say, it does feel like t 
tight or like pulling. It does kind of feel like that. I'm sure that's just from the magnet itself. Do you see it just like clink? Yesterday this was my problem one and it looks like it's doing it today. Oh no, I actually got it on today. Yesterday this one would not go on. It would not stay on. It wouldn't go on. So the only thing I noticed yesterday is though, like I like to push my lashes up. Be very careful when you do that because it will just pop right off. I also curled my lashes yesterday. Today I did not do that and I <clears throat> see that was a lot helpful. So this idea, no, see they still try to, this idea is cute, especially for people that don't want to mess with um, glue, however, it's not necessarily my cup of tea. It is super easy and everything, I just don't feel like it's secure, probably just because I'm used to the glue, I don't know. Can you guys see the band? Like, you know, it's cute, but I just, I don't know if it's my cup of tea. I got to keep wearing them to try them out. So now I'm going to try and put some mascara on them. This is just the Essence mascara to see if I can blend well. I'm probably just going to let the blending be me applying the mascara to them. I don't think I'm necessarily going to pinch it together. See, there goes that one coming up. That was the issue I had yesterday. You see that? Probably not, but you see how it just disconnects. Stay down. That's what I mean by I don't feel like it's that secure. That's what I'm just not comfortable with. I'm kind of conscious, self-conscious about that. But they're cute though. Look at that. I just don't. No, see it came off again. So what do you guys think? The contour concealer, I already knew I was going to like that. The sponges are great. I already knew I was going to like that. The This thing is good. I just did, wish I didn't get it so dark. But these guys, I'm just not sure. It's not my cup of tea. I think it's cute for people that aren't comfortable, like I said, with the glue. I just don't know how long they're guaranteed to stay how secure they'd be throughout your day if it's windy it might blow off i don't know and because of that i don't know if these are something i'd personally invest in all the time like i just kind of don't trust them to be honest it was easy and it was it was easy for the liner but it's just not my cup of tea and they look nice, but I like knowing they're set when I use glue, you know? So, just my thoughts. Um, let me know if you plan on trying them, if you plan on getting them now that I've reviewed these ones. Um, let me know your thoughts on them. You know mine, so just throwing that out there. But they are cute just not leaving it alone. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See you later. Bye.